Hey guys, this is Mike Jones, and today we're going to go over the 2006 stats for the Piston Cup Series as the season ended, and we'll go through who is the best in each category and all that good stuff, and Rookie of the Year and points and all that. So points, obviously, Lightning McQueen is the champion at 4,500 points, 140 over Chick Hicks, who finished second. Third goes to Cal Weathers, your Rookie of the Year. And he actually had a shot at the championship, only 230 points off, that's not that bad. He is definitely going to be a championship contender next season. Wilfred Bradford Rutherford, fourth, and he finished 386 back. He had a good season with a win, Misty Motocross. And uh, she was fifth place, 405 points off. Floyd Mulvey Hill ends up 6, just 19 behind Motocross, but he was able to win a race and lead the point standings, I believe the first almost 10 races of the season, he led the points lead, so pretty good for him. 7th, Mari Clutchburn, he also got a win this season, and he finished 7th. Kevin Racing Tire in 8th, this guy was on fire mid-pack through the season, kind of middle end. And he looked like he was climbing up. He made it up to, I believe, third or fourth place. And in the last about four races, he just fell back. So he still got eighth place. No wins this season. But uh, he'll be there next season if it can. Mac Icar. Oh, no. Missed Mac Icar. Paul Ingas, actually, next. Might as well put it through here so you can see who I'm talking about. Paul Ingas is next. And he finished his ninth with 520 points back, and he got three wins this season. He looked like he was going to be on top of two wins. I believe he was the first car with two wins. He also got three wins before Chick Hicks got three wins. And, uh, yeah, really good winner, but not very consistent. Then we got Mac Icar rounding out your top ten. And he also didn't win a race this season, but he's been very consistent, which is weird because it's Mac Icar. Oh no. Now we'll just go through other rookies and people retiring this season. And we're going to start with Rusty Cornfuel. Actually, Hall Ingas is retiring. I forgot about him. He is retiring. I re that really sucks because I want to see what he's going to do with his finishing. Being able to win, but be very inconsistent. But too bad. He's calling it quits after a strong season of six or ninth in points. It's pretty good. But anyway, next. Oh, Rusty Cornfield, he's going to end his career with a win in the last season. Only three top fives and eight top tens, but that's way better than his season before in 2005. Davey Apex is going to end his season with a win, also tying for 16th in points. Pretty strong season for him also. I mean, it's first half. Manny Fly will also retire in. He also won a race. We had a lot of people win races this season. This package was really close. They're changing it up next season, so that's going to be a fun one to watch. But uh, Manny Flywell also won a race. Next rookie, this is the second place finishing rookie, all the way down in 21st. Martin Carrick Jr., and this guy was able to win a race his first season also. I believe he's the second rookie to win a race. Him and Cal Weathers are the only two rookies that won races, I believe. Aiken Axler had a terrible season for his standards. He finished fourth, I think, the season before. 22nd this season. No wins. He was awful for his standards. Todd Marcus and Aiken Axler is also retiring. James Cleaner will be the next car retiring. And uh, no wins for him and pretty bad season, honestly. As we keep going down... Denny Carlin, Clint Bocar, both rookies. Both of them didn't get wins, but both of them... Carlin should have won, like, three of the last, like, ten races or something. He was on fire and just bad stuff happened, which really sucks. I think he got some second-place finishes. But, uh... Oh, once he had a pit. I, I don't remember, but it wasn't that long ago. I think it was the last big track, like, Texas or something. He had a pit from the lead with only a couple laps to go or something. He lost that lead because of that. Clint Bocar blew an engine while leading at Dover. I remember that one. That sucks. Chuck Armstrong retiring this season. He got a win this season, so that's good. At least most of the people retiring are getting a win their last season. 
terrible season for him though, 31st in points, but he did get a win, so that's better than nothing. And last person retiring is Brush Kerber. Brush Kerber did not get a win, and he's been awful, so it makes sense that he's retiring. He's been bad in both the last two seasons, so it makes sense. And then last rookie is JJ Traley, who finished way behind, even second to last in points. He was awful this season, and uh, he might get fired. We'll just have to see what happens. I mean, obviously, you're not going to do too good your rookie season, unless you're Cal Weathers, apparently, or Lightning McQueen. But uh, JJ Traley is the worst driver by far so far. <laughs> like, it wasn't even close. But anyway, now that we've went through that, we can look at start. Everybody started every race except for Dale Earnhardt Jr. and Ruby Oaks. They both had problems at the beginning of a, a race, it looks like. And they both missed out on the start of it, which sucks. But they still were able to do not really decent. But yeah, that hurt them because they didn't even get last place points, which is only 37 or something. But 42 or I don't know, somewhere around there for 40th place. We'll have 42 cars next season now. But anyway, those are the only two cars to not start. Best poles, Lightning McQueen, four pole positions. Of course, the champion always has the most pole positions. And it is actually a lot of people. He didn't dominate them. Four is not that much for the most person. I think in real life now, it's probably good, like the same person gets like eight. Uh, Chick hits three poles, not bad for him. Kevin Shiftwright also had three. And then Cal Weathers, the rookie, with two. And so on and so forth to one. And all these people, JJ Trey. Uh, Misty Motocross finished fifth in points, didn't get a full position. Same for Mulk Hill, Touchman, and Ingas. Wins! Lightning McQueen, of course. Lightning McQueen, five wins. Chick Hicks, three wins. Three wins for uh, Paul Ingas. Two wins for Kyle Weathers. Two wins for Johnny Blammer, I believe. He won the. Florida 500 too. Cloud Scruggs even got two wins, and that's crazy. And then all of these people, Rutherford down, all got a win. 21, 22, 23, 24, 24 different winners, including the guy who finished 38th in points out of 40 cars, Dirksen Diagostino. Wow. Top fives: Lightning McQueen and Chick Hicks both tied top fives. 11 of them. And they were way, uh, way ahead of the field. Then we had a couple people with eight Cal Withers Racing Tire and Kaburski and Eddie Jason. He somehow finished 12th this season after flipping a lot. And so on and so forth. Did anybody not get a top five? JJ Traley and Todd Marcus only got one top five this season. But everybody did get a top five, so... I wonder how many people are going to miss out on top 10s. Top 10s, Lightning McQueen dominated that. 18 top 10s, 14 for Chick Hicks, 14 for Cal Weathers, 14 for Kevin Racing Tyler, and then 13 and so on and so forth. Everybody got a top 10 this season, it makes sense. You should definitely get a top 10. JJ Traley also was the worst in top 10s. DNS, Johnny Blammer. The person that's supposed to wreck out every race, according to the wiki page, <laughs> he, did, he finished every race, that's interesting. Um, Martin Carrick Jr., a rookie, that's really good for a rookie to do, is finish every race. 21st in points is not even that bad for him, so he might actually be a contender sometime in the future. He's obviously going to improve. Todd Marcus, 23rd. In points, uh, Lee Revkins and Ponchi Wipeout all did not crash out this entire season. Everybody else had at least a DNF, so that's that's crazy that five cars finished every single race this season. Then you go down, Darren Leadfoot had six DNFs, which, that is actually not that bad. I mean, it's bad for him, but... Shoot, in my career mode, you already got people five. And we're only in like, oh, excuse me, like 12 races or something now. So six is not that bad compared to what it could be. And D'Agostino with four, Icar with four, Chick Hicks with four. See, this is what her Icar and Chick Hicks is, four DNFs. While uh, I believe Lightning McQueen only had two. Oh, he had three, three DNFs, so did Cal Weathers. 
But that four of Chick might have been the difference maker in a way if, if his DNF would have been something better. He might have had a chance. Laps complete. Nobody completed every single lap, but the person that completed the most, Floyd Mulvihill, who DNF twice, <laughs> somehow completed the most laps. I don't know how. He must have DNF'd at the end of the race twice. But uh, that screams consistency there and staying on the lead lab. Johnny Blammer also up there, of course. Todd Marcus and all these guys. Least laps complete. Eugene Kurbrewski. That <laughs> makes sense. He's he's had some very bad cars. Even races that he didn't DNF on. He like had to pit and went laps down. He went laps down a lot. Finishing 11th in points is great for him. Same for Junior. Junior also had that same kind of issue. Like... Even though he only had three DNFs, he had like 10 races where his car was garbage and he had a pit unscheduled and went laps down and stuff. So that's why they they struggled with laps completely. Also, if it happened at the tracks, short tracks, it would also be that. So yeah, laps led. Chick Hicks led the most, 274 laps. And you might be able to hear my dog whining in the background. Uh, Lightning McQueen, second laps led. Cal Weathers, the big three, I guess you'd call it. Eugene Kaprowski completed the least amount of lead laps, yet he was fourth on laps left. <laughs> that screams the most inconsistent driver there is. <laughs> Luckily, he'll be able to race next season and hopefully make up for this wacky one. Floyd Moby Hill in sixth, Rutherford in fourth. Of course, all that. And we're going to keep going down. Brush Kerber led nine laps and that was the worst so everybody led at least nine laps this season rusty cornfield didn't lead very many either Holy crap. but he was at least consistent enough to get a top 15. jj traley led 21 he led more laps than all these guys above him yet he was terrible and last but not least races led chick hicks led and uh, led a lap in 23 of the races 63 percent of them wow that's crazy because uh Next is Lightning McQueen, 19. Chick led a lot more. He just wasn't able to capitalize on those races he led, I don't think. He led in 23 races, but only won three. He should have won at least six races this season, at least. And I know he blew up from the lead like at least twice, so that's like two of the three enough, so that makes sense. Lightning McQueen led in 19, and then we got a tie. Cal Weathers and Kabruski led 15. Races and uh, Rutherford, Scruggs, and so on and so forth. Corn Fuel led in four races and he led 13 laps, and that's like two laps a race that he raced in. JJ Traley, same thing, so he must have led laps at a, at a short track. But anyway, that is all the stats, I guess. Um, yeah. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please click the like button. And if you made it to the end of the video, comment 2007, baby, because that's what we're going to. All right, and subscribe if you're new. 80% of you guys are not subscribed, so turn on that notification bell so you don't miss the 2007 season that is coming up. It's going to be awesome. We're going to have hopefully about 10 rookies I'm hoping for. We're going to have at least seven actual Piston Cup rookies, and then I'm thinking... Probably three NASCAR driver ripoffs like uh, JJ Traley or um, whatever, you know, Martin Kartsky or something like that. So we'll see who they are and the stuff up and coming. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. Join the Discord chat. Follow me on Twitter. Bye, guys.